guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Carly, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the videos of the first time I saddled Hollywood. As some of you guys may remember, Hollywood is a client horse I've been working with. He actually leaves today. So you guys will also be seeing the video of me riding him for the first time a couple days after you guys watch this one. So that's why I look the exact same in both of them. Sheesh. I am going to be talking you guys through what I am doing and why I am doing that during this whole process. So, he has previously had a saddle pad on him from me, not from anybody else, but I desensitized him to it, so that wasn't something I needed to do. But I am lunging him at first just to make sure his attention is on me. When I have him stop, I have him yield his hind quarters, and that's another way I know he's paying attention to me, right there. And then I send him off to have him go the other way. I lunged him for about five minutes and then after he was being a good boy and I knew that he was listening to me, I flexed him. And off camera because this... So now we are moving on to this saddle and saddle pad. So. Like I previously said, he's already had a saddle pad on him from me, desensitizing him to it, and I liked how he was curious as to what the saddle was, and I'm just flopping the saddle pad all over, even though he's already had it on. Just good to give him a reminder that it's not scary. Here, I grabbed the saddle, and I flipped everything on top of it, and it's just swinging it up and down, so he's not afraid of it going up and down next to him. I also put a back cinch on just so he'd be used to it from the start. Letting him smell the saddle, showing some curiosity, and then I set it on him because he was being really good. Take it off, set it on, take it off, set it on. Repeat is what I kept doing. So after I thought he was ready because he didn't care at all, from me putting it on him. I was shaking around the cinches and stuff, then I took it back off to release the pressure because he was being good. And then I'm also doing it from the other side and I did do it quite a bit more. But I want a horse that can have the saddle thrown on it from either side because if there's a problem or you can only get to them from the one side, I want to be able to do stuff on that side. Here I'm just shaking around the stirrups and stuff before I actually hook up the saddle and then I'm just placing the cinch, the front cinch and the back cinch on his stomach just so he can get used to the feeling of something being there. Here I actually put more pressure on the cinch from the other side and just sat there and tapped it and then once he was being good I released the pressure and you can see he is licking and chewing and learning that the saddle is not so scary. Just doing more of the same stuff. Now I actually have the saddle cinched up. This recording was on my phone, the other recording was on my camera and that actually had died. So I was grateful that I put my phone out. I'm just lunging him with the saddle. This was his first time going around with it on and just getting a feeling of what's going on. So he actually did crow hop once with it, but my phone had actually died when that happened. So love that for me. 
but he was being really good and I love how well he lunges and round pens because he's super quick and responsive when I ask him to do what I want him to do. Here I'm just checking to make sure everything looks good and that the cinch was tight, the back one was tight enough. Oh. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how much of that is on camera because my phone died, camera turned off, so we got the saddle on him and we lunged him for a little bit. I just went to the tack room and grabbed a couple of snaffle bits and some leather reins. No, I am not riding him. I'm just getting him used to having the saddle on the bit before we do anything crazy. He didn't throw any fit though, having the saddle on, which is really, really good. Getting better and better every day. 1%, huh, bud?